Hey, welcome to the TWC Leadership uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we're so glad that you're here um, and watching this video. This is our way of taking five minutes and kind of opening the doors to our staff meeting uh, as we just talk about some valuable principles that will help you become a better leader and a better volunteer for TWC. Now, what we've been doing for the last couple or last week, we started this conversation of being the ideal team player. Sometimes we look at teams as kind of like just just simply these teams, but they're made up of key people. And to be a good team player, uh, Patrick Lencioni makes this amazing kind of a discovery that an ideal team player has three key traits. They're humble, they're hungry, and they're smart. They're humble, they're hungry, and they're smart. And so each week we're gonna dissect each one of these. And today we're talking about humble. And Patrick Lencioni makes this statement, and I absolutely agree with him, that of all the three traits, humble is the most important. Uh, so humility, in a sense, means focusing on the greater good instead of focusing on yourself or having an inflated ego. It's the most important trait of being a great team player is having this uh, trait here of being humble. Uh, traits would be this. Uh, th these are people that are hu humble. People who are humble tend to use we instead of I, which would really help in a team situation. They aren't afraid to own up to their flaws or failures and are willing to apologize for their mistakes and to accept other, others' apologies. They can sincerely appreciate others' strengths and skills. And so th this, is, this is important when it comes to being on a team. Now, when you lack humility or when you have team members that lack humility, here's a couple of signs that lack. Uh, those that lack humility may be explicitly uh, arrogant or self-centered uh, with the tendency to boast or seek attention. Okay, And so that's kind of you see these uh, happening when there's a lack there. Uh, but here's some nuances when it comes to humility. And, and be very careful that we don't get mix up humility with other things. And humility is not the same as insecurity, right? It's not insecurity or a lack of self-confidence or self-worth. You can choose to focus less on yourself without discounting your strengths and contributions. So if that's the case, if this is a key thing in being a part of it, uh, an ideal team player to recognize in people and to also grow in yourself. I think we want to grow in humility, right? So how do you grow in humility? Well, his uh, opinion is to identify or acknowledge the potential causes uh, behind the lack of humility, such as um, insecurity, which turns in from maybe childhood issues or personality types. He says, when you uh, address those issues that are cause, becoming barriers for you to grow in humility. He says, identify them. And then he says, and this is great, to by practicing, by admitting mistakes and compliment coworkers will help you grow in, in your humility. Now, here's an interesting thing. Because there's these three dials here, hu humble, hungry, and smart, if you lack, or a team player, or yourself as a team player, lack hungry and smart, you know what you are? The pawn. So if you're missing two, two vital um, character traits, hungry and smart, these are people that are humble, but they just aren't very productive. And so we're, we're again, uh, Patrick Lencioni is saying we're driving to try to grow in this area where all three, we're both, we're all three humble, hungry, and smart. And that's where the ideal team player, but when two are missing, you're basically just a pawn. And you can't influence others or drive performance. And so we want to have all three here. So uh, tune in next time when we talk about hungry. Thanks.